Hey guys, Pretzelman945 here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're another parts of the podcast. I mean, good lord, I'm fucking tired. Um, we we got the cameras on. I know I know we talked about doing this eventually, but uh, <laughs> I bought a camera. All right, we're we're fi- we're finally yeah. we're finally doing the the on camera shit. Uh. Which is cool. Feels feels like more like a proper fucking podcast now. Um, how you doing, Seth? You know, it's been, it's been two good. weeks since the last episode. Yeah, I uh, was in Connecticut. That was um, well, four New London. So like, there was like this festival there. My boat went there for the festival. This other boat, and it was just kind of you give tours or whatever. Oh, is that what those? Uh, is that what what the Instagram pictures are from? Um, yeah, one of them. I was I was on the other boat that was there, mm-hmm. but uh, I didn't take any pictures of it. I was just uh, like doing tours. So I would basically stand there and be like, "This is the boat. This is what we do." Da, 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 da. And then they go through the boat and look around. Um, yeah, New London, Connecticut has got to be the most um. Nut job fucking town I've ever seen in my life. New London, you said was called? New London, Connecticut. It is, uh... Huh. I've heard of yeah, a lot of, like, new places, but never New London. Yeah, that, that was like a fever dream, bro. It was like... I, I can't even, like... Alright, so... They had this festival. I forget what the guy's name was or what war it was for. There was a war. I don't remember which one. I don't even remember the dude's name. But he, like, went behind the enemy line. Or, like, he was on the enemy. He was, like, traitor. Then he tried to set New London on fire in the 1800s. And so every year they have this festival. You know, markets, da-da-da, this, this, that. But at the end, they they get a scarecrow that looks like the guy. They start from the first side of the town. And they light him on fire and march it through the town. Wow. And I was just like, all right, <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is just a dude on fire. We're having a good time. It must have been a cool then, experience, though. It was pretty cool. There was just a lot of, like, there's just a lot of fuck shit that I can't even say on YouTube that happened. That I'll, I'll tell you later, but, like, it, it was just, like, the, well, like okay. the, it was like the, the people were wild. That's all I gotta say. People were insane. Were they like on drugs or some shit? What's that? Were they like on drugs or some shit? Was that like weird? Or were they like hippies or something else? They were def. There were definitely some people on drugs. Okay. <laughs> you could definitely you could smell it too. There was definitely <laughs> some drugs in the air. Okay. And uh, yeah, I was. That was um. <laughs> experience but i did buy i did buy some funny merch there was this comic store like a nerd store or whatever i got these like japanese like kirby things for my buddy oh that's cool and th- this one i have a wild story about this next thing all right hold on let me pull it out uh, uh, yeah all right i got a game boy color for 20 bucks okay so I'm in I'm in like downtown, right, with a couple of my friends, and I just he I just smell the most like like cat lady like smell. You know what I mean? Like it just smells it, it's rank. All right. I look to my left and there's this there's a store and the sign just says stuff. Just says stuff. Okay. I, I wish I took a picture of like the inside. I I, I was so baffled that I forgot. But you would walk in, and it was literally like, like a Goodwill. Everything you would think in a Goodwill in the size of this room, and it was like there was just so oh. much shit. It was just everywhere. Close, clothes stacked this high. Little glass counter, but there's shit all around it. There was just a cat walking around the store. Dude, that sounds like my kind of dream store. To be honest, I I, I love well, places like that. It was wild. I I walk in. There's just a lady. She's sitting up. She's got her feet up. She's smoking a cigarette. She's like, yeah, what, uh, are you coming here for anything? And I'm like, no, I just, I'm just looking around. This is like mind boggling. There's like, there's like 
I, I literally, there's just like a, in one of the corners, there's just a stack of microwaves. I was so lost. And so I spot, I spot this Game Boy. And I was like, huh. All right, let me see it. I, I, it works. I fucking. Wow. It's got, it's got Frogger in it. I paid 20 bucks for it. So like, you know, like if you go to a store, especially like a local kind of store, you know, they got like the Apple Pay or maybe cash or whatever. And like, you know, yeah. receipt, you know, you know how an exchange at a store works, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh man, how much for this game works? Like 20 bucks cash. I went about 20. I, I like, I was like, do you have like a counter or anything? Like receipt? And he's like, nah, just give me 20 bucks. I was like, all right. I mean, it it makes the transaction easy at the very least. It um, did make the transaction so easier. So talking about cool shit, like I literally just got this. Like I was doing like uh, we call it strays it where I work, but like it's this thing where like we go to like the registers and collect like things that people didn't buy. And I put this thing on hold for myself. I bought it because I thought it was so fucking cool. Look at this thing. Oh shit! What what is it like? You can play Tetris on it. Yes, exactly that. It just plays like a demo thing, but like, look at this. Oh, that's sick! It's like a it's like a mini fucking arcade cabinet of Tetris. You know how much I fucking love Tetris. This yeah. this thing was only twenty five bucks. That's a steal. This thing is so cool. I cannot wait to like try this yeah. out later. Um. Yeah, man, got the. Rip out the box. This 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 made my work day good. Otherwise, it was kind of man. Uh, <laughs> are, are we just are we just pulling out random shit that we bought? I don't even. All right, I found this at Walmart. Minecraft body soap. <laughs> Doctor do, do, do Squatch. This is diamond. This is diamond scrub. I'm gonna smell like a Minecraft player. We stay winning. All right. This is the sort of you've ever seen. Oh, speaking of Minecraft, did you see the trailer for the Minecraft movie? <laughs> I am Steve. That shit looks like ass, bro. This, this, <laughs> is why, this is why I love having this on camera. This is beautiful. <laughs> that, that was... Like... I saw it. Here's the thing. <laughs> Even if it's shit, I'm still gonna go watch it. Like me too, Minecraft. me too, me too, for like, sure. That's a given. I'm gonna go watch it. But like, oh man, I you know not much more of a Minecraft fan than you are. Uh, yeah, way more. <laughs> I I I have a lot of opinions. I'm overall very mixed on the trailer, like extremely mixed. Um. I think like the backgrounds look cool. Like they look very Minecrafty. But right. then we have the fucking CG heap, which is gonna haunt my nightmares. Um the sheep. but, oh but that, that isn't that isn't gonna haunt my nightmares as much as Jason Momoa looking like a cross dresser in this trailer. Um Yeah, that was wild. I saw like, that. That that to me is like the most what the fuck thing. Like what the fuck is Jason Momoa doing here? Like Jack Black, I'm fine with. I don't care what the hell they're trying to do with making him Steve. I love Jack Black. I'm fine with seeing him wherever. But like Steve. what the actual fuck is Jason Momoa doing in this movie? Dude, I was watching it and I was like, this has gotta be a fucking joke, dude. Like it was like the only way, by the way, speaking of joke, the only way I can see that this movie, like, being at all good is if it literally takes itself, like, 0% seriously. Yeah, I was about to say, have you ever seen the movie uh, Spaceballs? I fucking Wars, love Spaceballs. Spaceballs is one of my favorite comedies of all time. Literally, I feel like I would laugh the same at this movie that, that I did it's, at Six that's, that's the only way that this movie, well, I mean, it's going to be financially successful regardless because it's a Minecraft yeah. movie and, like, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to clear the box office. But 
The only way I see this movie not being completely, like, review bombed on, like, IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes is if it literally, like, does not take itself seriously at all. And right. just com- and just plays on the absurdity. Which, it seems like it's that's the direction it's going based on the trailer. Like, that's the vibe I get. But if it's not doing that, then it's going to be an utter disaster. Right. Might, yeah. might, might still I mean, be funny, though. Might still be funny. I... Uh, do you know what the movie's rated? Um, I can... I can look that up for a moment. Because uh, I, I hope it, I hope it's like actually funny and not like the Minecraft movie. I've seen some memes on the internet that are it's just like PG. Yeah. Okay. So it's not going to be like it's it's okay. I can see it being kind of funny. I mean, funny, you know, like, honestly, that makes sense just because like it's a lot of little kids are going to go see it. Um, yeah, I know. It's, it's unfortunate though because it's like. I've just seen so many memes, dude, where it's like, you know, those like, I, I can't even like verbalize. I'll have to send some to you later, but it's just like classic movie, like tropes. And it's like, uh, it's like, all right, you go that way. You go this way. Creeper. You need to be creeper. And then it's like, a, like, like some line up like a movie. It's just like, I don't know. I just, I don't even know how to feel about it. I'm me personally, video game movie wise. I'm more excited. I'm more excited for Sonic 3 because that actually looks good. I haven't seen any of the Sonic films. They're good. They're my I mean, favorite. Just, video j- I mean, just because, like me personally, I'm just not that interested in Sonic, to be honest. Yeah, um, I'm excited because Sonic Adventure Two is one of my childhood favorites, bro. On the uh, bro, and let me tell you, the movie they're making is literally just based off that. But there's like a scene in the game. Where like this little girl gets shot in the face, and uh, it's important for the lore. I promise. If they show that, not sh- like actually show it, but if that happens in the movie, I'll be satisfied because it's Shadow. It's Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay. Like go. Speaking of video games, shall we get to Persona? Hold on, hold on. I I have an occasion. I have something for this. Okay. <laughs> What is that? It's a velvet room beanie. Oh shit! That's cool. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Okay, okay. so so Where over the, so over the past two weeks, I'm gonna kind of right. give you a, a, a rundown. Um, okay, I, I want to get to the story last because there's a few things I want to talk about related. I want to talk about like social links and Tartarus before we get to the story. Right, yeah, that's fair. Um, so I, over the past, like, two weeks, I have gone from four hours to, like, 42 or 43. Yeah. I've played a fuck ton of this game in the past two weeks. Um, and it's really, really good. Um, I love it. I, I want to talk about Tartarus first because I think this is something that definitely gives. I'm maybe I'm comparing it to Five, by the way. Right, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for a lot of this. Um, I think Tartarus is infinitely better than Mementos. That's valid. Like Mementos, like as a gameplay aspect, it's one of my least favorite parts of Persona Five because it feels like it. Drags and drags and fucking drags. Right. And I won't lie, I think Tartarus suffers from this from the same issue because a little bit near the end, because like I was playing, I was like grinding the last like couple floors up to 256 last night. And yeah, yeah. um it really, really started to feel like a drag from like 20 onward. Um, the difference is that Mementos, it, it, it felt like that from, like, almost the beginning of it. Um, right, right. The thing I, the thing I like much better about Carteris is the fact that it feels like it keeps things a lot more interesting. Like, yeah, yeah. 
um like like the the um the routes you can explore are more interesting um the the kinds of like treasure chests and yeah. um i i guess like um and and like the, the the rare money demons you can find like i think all of that is much more interesting it's much more consistent um Saving people in Tartarus is a lot less obnoxious compared to compete, compared to completing the yeah. request in Mementos. Um, and thankfully, this time it doesn't require you to go into Tartarus to like up any social links, which was kind of a pain to deal with right. in certain confidant routes in Persona Five. Um, and um. The, the enemy design is a lot better. I think I just think the way it's structured is just a lot better. Um, overall, what I like, much, much better than Mementos on a lot dungeon, of levels. Dungeon crawling wise, I've always said this about three, four, and five. I think like you have like Mementos and Tartarus. Tartarus is better than Mementos for what like everything you just said. But and I like so uh, how far are you again? Like, like Story wise, well, just you don't have to go into the story, but tell me where you are story wise. I'm like I don't know, eight or nine days away from the promised day or something like that. All right, gotcha. So on the full moons, when you go to like I don't know, like the what was like what was like the love hotel in three for that one fight? You know what I'm talking about like the mirrors. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like the earlier cool. on one. That's cool, but I think the palaces are better. And five, like and and see and see that's that's another thing that I will mention. Um, for everything I like about Tartarus, I like the way it's structured better. I like that. Um, I, I think like gameplay wise, um, Tartarus for tar like gameplay wise, Tartarus is better. Um, but in terms of just like stylistic, like world building wise, Persona Five is infinitely better with the palaces because yeah let's be real and this isn't this isn't a dig against three but like all of its concepts are infinitely more simpler compared to five right and uh the reason i don't i don't know it's hard for me because it's like yeah palaces are better than this but then again i'm like okay this game is from 2007 like i'm not gonna bat i'm not gonna bash it like, like i said palace. and like i said because it's simpler, as I'll get into with my opinions on the story, that is absolutely not a dig against the game. In fact, I think it, sure. I think both things benefit the stories of, of both games. So it actually right. works out fine. But I do like the palaces better because I think they so, are a lot more stylized. There's so many different like. And, um, like themes and and like different like locations and just the art style of Persona Five is like my favorite of any video game. Basically, that's that's like right. the shortened down point of that. Um, so yeah, obviously Persona Five with the palaces is going to be better. Um, but I think Tartarus overall as like a more direct thing, it's much much better gameplay wise. Um, so I would say, go ahead. Uh, I was going to get into the social links, but you finish your thought first. Oh, yeah, before. So what I will say is, uh, you haven't played 4 yet, obviously, but with 3, 4, and 5, what I really notice is, like, the growth. And I, that's why I can't even dog on any of them, because it's like 3, it's like, all right, you have the dungeon crawling, Tartarus, but then you have, like, the full moon boss fights, right? And in right. 4, it's, in 4, there is no, there is no dungeon crawl. There's no, like, mementos or Tartarus experience. So it's kind of like, Oh, okay. imagine! Imagine, okay, it's 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 kind of hard to explain, but it's imagine a uh, palace kind of. It's not as in depth. It's kind of just it's kind of floors. You know what I mean? It's kind of like Tartarus with the floors, right? Because it's the same. So, so it's like a mix of the two. It's like a mix of the two because well, P four was built in the same engine as three, so it, it like the floor layout's really similar. And then, uh, but the cool thing is, you know, how in five, once like the date ends, you can't go back to that palace. Yeah. All right. In four, you can go back to any of the dungeons you want. Oh, to, okay. Like, level up. So it's like, it's like you got three, which is like the base for it. And then you got four, which kind of like built palace idea, I think. 
and then five, and then it just completely flushed out on the PS4, and it was beautiful. Social links, though. I want to hear about this, too. Um, so right off the bat, I'm going to say I don't think I can make a comparison between, like, which games I like better. That yeah, that would guess. that would be like impossible for me because I think like the social link character writing is one of the best and most enjoyable part about Persona games. I think it would be extremely unfair to try and compare overall to uh, other games, other Persona games. Right. Um. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. I know I said I was comparing the two, but not for this. Not when talking about social links. Um. So um I'm 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 um I'll tell you all of the ones that I currently have maxed out. Okay. It's a lot. I might forget some. <laughs> That's okay. So the first one I, I maxed out was the old couple at the bookstore. That that same. same. Um that that one is really good. Very heartwarming. Just just like just like a super feel good one. Um right. the second one I maxed out was uh the guy Kenji, the one that wants to marry the teacher. My goat. He's <laughs> funny. Um that that one was fun. Um and, and I'm probably gonna make like a video at some point, like a like a confidant tier list, because I did that with Persona 5. But right. um uh after this I lose points I lose track of the order in which I max them out. Um I maxed out uh Odagiri. That's uh, the student council, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, disciplinary committee. Um that one was pretty good. Uh, uh I had if I was like half and half on that one, you know. It, it wasn't like, as it, it it wasn't nearly as interesting as some of the other ones, but I will say this is a positive uh, in three's favor over five. Not there was no social link I did that felt like a complete waste of time compared right. to five. There are some in five that were just an absolute waste of time, uh, like right. that fucker Mishima. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. I, I gotta. I'm. I'm sorry. I gotta look up a list of. Uh, Why well, you look up a list? I don't know. I think out top of my head, my favorites. That I'm gonna stay away from the main cast for now. But like off the top of my head, my favorites were like the old couple. I really like the monk. And then uh, I'm going to talk about the monk because that's another one I maxed out as well. I like the monk. Well, my favorite thing about Persona 3 social links is that in one way or another, every character that has a social link experiences death, either within the story, within themselves, or just around them. And I'm I'm assuming you understand the theme is of per Persona 3 is death. Memento yeah. Mori, like you're going <laughs> to fucking die. Yeah. I think that's so genius. Like every character you will interact with will experience death and you help them and you talk with them. And then like, and it doesn't have to be like actual death. You know what I mean? It can just be like, a, like a heartbreaking that hurts like death. You know what I mean? Or the death of something. And, uh, Okay, so I have the list here. I didn't even know Fuko was available as a, as a social link. I have all of them maxed out, so... I did not know you could get Fuka because I didn't mess with the whole, like, fortune thing. Right. No, so, that's fair. Uh, my first playthrough, uh, I that's, not... that's my bad on me. Uh, I have I have Mitsuru at, like, rank 3, I think, because it took me, like, ages to max out the academics for that one. Um, Love her and hate her at the same time. Uh, um... Yukari Supremacy. Yukari is my goat, bro. I love Yukari so much, bro. She's my favorite. Oh my god. Fan. My favorite female character. Um, well, okay. I have Igus. That, I, I, I don't know. She's different to me. I love Igus. But Yukari... Like, I, I, I'm, I have, I'm gonna get to Igus. I, I have a lot of... Um, I'm gonna talk about Igus when I talk about the story. 
because I think that's the yeah, only thing that. that makes sense. Um, but Yukari's uh, Yukari's like social link thing was amazing. It was totally worth the insane amount of like Hagakure ramen grinding I did to raise my charm. Um, yeah. Uh, it was totally worth it, and so far, because she's the one I'm maxed out, she's the only, like, girl I've romanced. I don't know if you can do multiple in this game, but, um... Nah, I always stick to one, but I'll do a different one each playthrough, if you know what I mean. But uh, I will say, it was hard for me to do Yukari this time, because I played Portable, and I played FES, and I did Yukari both of those times, and I was like, hmm, should I do someone different? Nah, I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. Um, I, I fucking love Yukari. Yukari is amazing. Um, uh, Kazushi Miyamoto, really, really good. Uh, I have the, that one, like, almost maxed out. I think he's on, like, rank 9. I get them confused. Is that the, is that the rate, is that the run guy that, that's really good, or the one that fucked up his leg, or something? That's the one that fucks up his knee. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was uh, cool. I liked him. He, he's really good. Like, really, really, like, you know, human one. Um, Chihiro is okay. I have that one at, like, like, like seven, yeah. I think. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, it's, I, but I it's, like it's, it. like it's one of the less interesting ones. Um, I have it, like, maybe a little above it, but nothing crazy. I enjoyed it. Maya, Maya was kind of interesting. I thought, I thought it was interesting the fact that it was so different from any of the other ones. Um, but, yeah. like, the progression wasn't that anything that, like, spectacular. Are you, you said, you said Maya, like a computer game? Yeah, 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 that one. So, I don't know if you know this, I have this little, little fun persona fact for you. The online game they play, Innocent Sin Online, you know what yeah. I'm talking about, when they're, like, you're doing the social yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the name, uh, of Persona 2 is Persona 2 Innocent Sin. Oh, okay. Fun, fun little and callback the there. Characters, and you play as a character in the online game in 3 as a character named Tatsuya. Tatsuya is the main character. In oh, okay. Okay. Um, I did not do Kinsuke Hiraga because I didn't do the art club one. Uh, he's all uh, Yeah. He's all right. I, I didn't I I didn't like have enough time to do the art club one. Uh Yuko uh, Yuko is... Yuko I'm a big fan of. Big fan of Yuko. Um I yeah, think I think yeah. I think I have art almost maxed out, like at rank eight. I think the way that you help her coach kids is really, really cute and fun. Um Yeah. I I'm a big fan of that one. Um now I, I told you I would explain why uh Myko is one of my favorites. Yeah, because I'm curious, because I'm mixed on Maiko. Um, so for so Maiko really emotionally resonated with me because I don't know if you know this, but my parents are divorced. Right. Um they have been for, since I was like seven. So it's something it's something I've been used to for a long time now. But like the fa- like something I really emotionally resonated with the fact that like Maiko was like like five, six, seven, wherever her age is, and her parents are like going through a divorce. Um right. that part, like it, especially like literally every part of her progression, I felt like it really resonated with what I felt like being so young when my parents divorced. So right. that's why that one is one of my favorites because every part of it like right. really emotionally resonates with me. Honestly, no, I get that. That's completely fair. For me, I I don't know if you know this, but in the Persona 3 community, Maiko's like I don't know how to say this, but see, I, I hear what you're saying. And I agree. I think Maiko's a great, I think her story and her progression is great. It's just it's just an idea of like, why is a high school student hanging out with a six year old? Why is that happening? Huh. I wouldn't do that. And like, unrelated to that, that. That's like the only thing people have a problem with it. It's like, who the fuck's doing that? But, uh, 
from no, it's, I, I, it's, I, it's I, really, I can get that. I never really thought about it that way, but I can understand. Right. Um. Right. So it's, it really depends because, like, no, because I get what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I think it's. I think that's valid. I think that's a fair. I think, yeah, that makes sense. Theros is such a weird one. Right, because he's like a social link, but like obviously, like we're we're gonna talk about him more in the main story. But I'm very mixed about like obviously it, it's like it's like Igor in Persona Five. It's like one of those like automatic ones that does, that goes as the story goes on. Um, it's it's. I'm very mixed. I don't really yeah. know like what to think about it. It kind of feels like like the friendship aspect kind of feels a little bit out of nowhere. But like at the same time near the end, it did feel a little bit meaningful. And I think it was paid off really well. So I, right. I'm kind of mixed on it, to be honest. Yeah, man, that's fair. I understand. Bebe, I, uh, I, dude, dude, Bebe, I love Bebe. Bebe was amazing. I, I don't know. I like Bebe. I like Bebe's story, but like, yeah, I, I, I thought his story was just. I, I thought it was charming more than anything else. I, I thought it was right. extremely wholesome, and that's why I really liked it. Yeah, well, let me let me ask you this. Uh, uh, I want to hear your opinions on like the main cast because, like, I don't you know like persona wise. I, I'll, like, I'll, I'll, like, I'll get I'll get to the main step cast when I finish with this list. Okay. Um, President Tanaka was definitely the funniest one. He was good. I liked him. The, the fact that you have to sink like fucking forty thousand yen to start it is hilarious to me. Um. And and it 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 feel it feels really random, but like you know, like like the, the progression itself was kind of generic, but overall it was just really fucking funny. That's why I enjoy it. Um now the monk Mutatsu, I really I really enjoyed uh Mutatsu. Yeah. I, I, I thought um I, I, I like I like that character type of like, you know, alcoholics that like lose connection with their family and they need to like reform and become better people. I, I really like that character archetype in general. And um, you know, I, I think the fact he's like a monk and whatnot and like learning about his past, it's it's really it's really uh it's really nice. Um so I, I, I really like that. I, I also quite enjoyed uh Hayase. He's he's like the other dude that didn't like the other runner dude. Yeah. Um, I liked his trying to make it for the family. I I, uh, I, I, I thought one. felt like very, very like human, very relatable. I'm assuming this Nozomi is like the chubby kid. I didn't do him. Uh oh, the king. The king. His was if you didn't do his, I can tell you his because his I I kind of understand in a way. I I, I didn't do like, his because like I couldn't I, I didn't bother to figure out like what kind of food he wanted. So um it, it was um his storyline is basically he eats a lot or whatever, but he had a he had a brother that uh was very like successful in life, but, but it was like the same age, but he, you know, top in class, good at sport, that kind of deal. And uh the brother passed away. And um everyone kind of like shot eyes on him to like lock like they kind of expected a lot because of that. You know what I mean? Like okay. And uh, you know, kind of had the pressure of expectation on him, which I can completely understand from like a family point of view. And it's like, yeah. So so did you enjoy them. that one? Yeah, that was like my Maiko for you, if you know what I mean. I was like, yeah. I think the reason Persona 3 is so the social links are so good and respected is like I think compared to the other games, this this one is like very like relatable. Like it's insanely uh, I, I relatable. Would, I would definitely I would definitely agree. Um 
And then, and then uh, we come to uh, Akinari, and a Akinari is what I think. Um, Akinari might be my might be my singular favorite. To be completely honest, Akinari, his story is so. I love that shit. Akinari was good, and it's I like um. This is another like character archetype that I love. Like I I've seen it in movies that I really. Um, enjoyed like this idea of a character that like wants to get something out of life before they die and they're going to die soon. I really, really love that kind of character. And luckily, my academics was high enough to where I didn't have to wait to start his, so um, I could do it right away. And I'm and I have it maxed out. Um, the end of his story, and like, you know, I've written stories myself in the past. The entire thing about him, like, figuring out how to write, that very much resonated with me personally. And the story that he writes actually ends up being incredibly profound. Especially, like, when you, when you like, analogously think about it to his, like, character. Um, brilliant, <laughs> honestly. Uh... A Akinari is, I, I think Akinari is definitely my definitive favorite. Right. He, um, yeah, Akinari's goaded. Uh, I feel like there's one I'm forgetting, but I can't remember off the top of my head. There's the, there's like the, you know, the C's team, but that one's like automatically progressed. And then there's Igus as well. Um, right. Uh, that's all of them. Um, Okay, so now I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, talk about like my thoughts on uh, I guess the personalities of the main cast, uh, and then I'll kind of flow into story. Um, yeah. So, um, not what to do first. So, just go, um, honestly, just go down the line of introduction. Go down the line of introduction. So, like team Adam, was... so. Junpei, Yukari, Makoto, not Makoto, oh, Jesus, uh, <laughs> Mitsuru. Okay, so I, I don't really like Junpei a lot. Like, Junpei's just a fucking bro. See, that's the thing. I am... Ugh, Junpei. When like, I play portable, I... Like, like heard... his, his character is, like... Far from the deepest, like far from it, and you know, obviously him losing Chidori, uh, with that whole like romantic stuff, like him losing that, that was that was really good. I really liked that scene a lot. But you know, like it's it's obviously not meant to be the most like emotionally in depth or complex. Um, but I I. Uh, just just enjoyed him because he's just a fucking bro. <laughs> he, I at first, or even before Relo came out, I did not like him at first because he was just like, I want to be the leader. You fucking suck. Like for like half the fucking yeah, game. you know what? I I can I can absolutely see like how um and, and there were some points definitely where I thought he was a little bit annoying, but right. I I do think I do think there there's a lot of heart to um to his right. character and 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 like yes. and like and like you know uh the the kind of insecurities that he deals with. Once Chidori is introduced, I was like. Yeah, he's cool. And then, like, that whole subplot happened. I was like, okay, you know, you got some yeah. points off me. I, I, I definitely you. agree. Um, but he's Yukari... definitely not... Okay, let me ask you this, though. Okay. So, Junpei or Ryuji? It seemed... Um, fuck. I, I, I knew we were going to come to this, because you know I love Ryuji. You you know I love you know I love Ryuji a lot. Ryuji's like um up there with one of my with some of my favorite like uh social winks in Persona Five. Right. Um I think that they're damn, that's hard because they're very similar. You know? Yeah. They they have the they're they're not they're far from the most like emotionally 
complex, but and they can be subtly annoying at moments, but all of them have a lot of heart. That's the um, thing about Persona, though. Like that's mm-hmm. just the thing. There's like there's like the bro character. There's like the obvious love interest. There's the Nav that can't fight. There's like the mascot, like Fuka Futaba Rise. They're all like they're not similar character wise, but they're based off the same kind of foundation. If that makes sense. Like so, like F- oh, Futaba is pers- way better. Futaba is infinitely better than Fuka. I don't know, dude. I At least, know I, I don't know. I didn't get the chance to, and I think I probably missed out on it this way in the game, but I, 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 I didn't get the chance to do her social link. Maybe that makes Fuka's character better. I like Fuka. She's fine, but, like, nothing, nothing like... I, I, th- I think the best part of her character is her relation is the fact that she becomes friends with her bully. Um... Right. Uh, I have Reese over both from P4. I'm not going to lie. I think P4 is my favorite. I think, yeah, P4 might be my favorite cast. Uh, Well, I haven't played 4 yet. <laughs> I, I, yet. I, I, I'm waiting for whenever they make a remake of that, since it's already been yeah. leaked. Dude, when that, co- when that comes out, I'll probably be more excited for that than I was Reload. Because I love Reload. I love Persona 3. It's my favorite. But Persona 4 was my first. You know, it's my first love. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And to see it get that touch. Mm. Yeah. I need um that. so um oh yeah, yeah, June Pay versus Ryuji. That was the we one on massive tangent there. Um I think I like Ryuji a little bit better. Yeah. Just because I I think he's a little bit more emotionally complex. Than Junpei, I think his arc yeah. goes a little bit deeper. Um. So and and I think that and I think he just gets better as the game goes on, which is also true of Junpei. It's very close, but I think I like Jun uh, Ryuji a little bit better. Right, and I think that's insanely fair. I mean. I have it, I have it in a similar order. Obviously, I haven't played four yet, but I have it: Yosuke, Ryuji, Junpei. Okay. Um, I have a uh, Yosuke signature, which is uh, Yuri Lowenthal from Spider Man. Uh, so, like the voice actor signature? Yeah, my uh, my buddy got it for me. Oh, that's sick! That's sick. So, it's a uh, well, yeah, because uh, what is it? Yuri Lowenthal is Yosuke in four. And uh he's Spider-Man as well, so how cool. Um so next one, uh Yukari Supremacy. Yukari Supremacy. Yeah, Yukari's my goat. <laughs> I love her. She's so fucking she's, um she's so real. Beyond the social link, like her higher like she continually gets development. Number one, I like her personality from the get-go. I think she's much better than On, to be honest. Agreed. I love On. Don't get me wrong. And her and her character, uh, Social Link in 5, is really great. But Yukari is far better. Um, Yukari... Um, the the way like the, I was very surprised with the way the story was structured and the fact that she was actually one of the chief characters because as more revelations happen they seem to in, they they involve Yukari a lot, right. um which I was surprised by and I really really liked that I think that direction was amazing um everything about her like struggling with her dad. Um and, and like coming to terms with who he was and you know kind of a- accepting his loss, that's amazing. I love that. Um, and yeah, I just love her entire personality. Um, like like every part of it. Um, I, I love you, Kari. Um, that's valid. Uh, she's tied with my favorite from the main cast. Oh yeah, I forgot. I remember um, you like favorite. So uh I, I'm gonna talk about Mitsuru next. Um 
I, I think Mitsuru in the beginning is kind of bland. Right. Uh, I can't. I, I to be honest, but um, it, it gets it gets a lot better like near the end of the story. Um, yeah, I gotta say, like, have you done? You said you've done her like a, most a lot of her social link. Well, I and mean, not much. It's at like rank three. Okay, so I guess you don't know, but her social link it's it's good, but at the same time, Makoto's better. Makoto's better. Oh, from five. I mean, like it's the same. We're talking about like character archetypes, right? Like it's it's the yeah. student council president who is really good at yeah, academics, Makoto. but knows nothing about the real world. Like no, immediately, no, no, just based off last of that. Just just based off a little bit I've done of Mitsuru's social link, I'm already thinking Makoto is so much better. Um, I agree, because as you keep playing, you'll notice every time you hang out with fucking uh, Mitsuru, it's like, um, is this the proper thing to do? And it's just like, you're eating a bowl of fucking food. Like, what are you talking about? Well, like, it, it felt more genuine with Makoto's because it wasn't it like did. limited to just like eating food. It, there's like that whole thing about like how she makes friends with someone that's in a bad right. situation, and that's and like, like how she has cool skills. It feels a lot more realistic. This one, it feels a lot more forced down the throat, to be honest. So, like right. you know, Mitsuru is not bad. I think I think like the the moment she has when her when her dad gets killed, uh, um, that was really good, um. But like overall, just I don't care. To be honest, um, um, now, uh, Akihiko, Akihiko is my other favorite. To be honest, I love Akihiko. I don't know who you could compare him to. Maybe Yusuke, but like, not really. He doesn't really have a comparison, which I honestly think makes him better. To be honest, like I think that I think that's one of the things that honestly makes him more unique. To be to be real, um, I think uh, um, um, uh, I think number one, his whole like thing about being uh like a boxer and whatnot, um, and the fact that you hang out with him, even though it's not really a direct social link, like, I've completed that entire progression of Akihiko right. hangouts, um, and that's, that's really good. Um, you know, like, him constantly saying, like, I promise I'll get you dinner soon, then you, you finally get dinner with him at the end, which, which feels nice, along the way you keep running into, like, the same group of, of, like, fucking weak-ass thugs, <laughs> yeah. I think that's funny. Um I really wish that he was an actual social link. So we could have like dug more into his past. Like if anything, I right. wanted more from Akihiko because I wanted to learn more about like the thing with his sister and like you know life at the orphanage that he mentions and stuff like that. Because he only, like, touches on it when he's, like, reflecting in dialogue. I really wish we got more, to be honest. Um, right. Honestly, that's fair, man. I get it. I wish... But what we I got, what we got, I, what we got, I was a big fan of. Um, uh, the next one was... Well, I already talked about Fuka. Um, next one after that is probably Amada. Um... He's I'm gonna nice. be honest, like beyond the main beyond like the this the point in the main story that I know you know I'm referring to that I'll get to when I talk more about the story in, in, in a bit. Um beyond that, I don't think he's that interesting, to be honest. No, I think in my opinion, the only thing he's good for is making Aragaki's character better. Like I think I think like I, I get the idea behind it, and I think Story-wise, it was executed very, very well. Mm -hmm. But I think there might have been like a bit too much focus on that. And I think there should have been a little bit more focus on like building that up. Like more 
than just getting like text messages from Mitsuru or Akihiko randomly that say like, oh, um, Amada-kun is, is feeling very sad tonight, or he hasn't come out of his room in a while. Could you go and hang out with him or see what's wrong? Like, I feel like, I feel like they had a chance to do, I feel like it's a little bit of this potential. I think they had a, they had a chance to do a lot more. And I feel like it was squandered a little bit. I will say, I think, uh, I got some good news for you. If you, uh, if you were talking about wanting more Akihiko, uh, the Persona 3 Reload DLC, I guess, the, the answer DLC, I'm playing it now. It, um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but you basically, there's like this thing, don't look into it until you beat the game. It's, it's literally, it's literally like a, it like continues like a month after the game ends. So there's heavy spoilers in the DLC, but I will tell you, um, you get to explore each character's past. And so you get to see a little more Akihiko in there. Uh, okay. It's not, it's, okay. It's, it's guaranteed, I guess it's not going to be as, I will tell you, it's probably not going to be as fleshed out as you want it, but it is something. It's like that. Thanks for telling me about that. Yeah. Um, uh, you need to a modern or 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 not yet. What's that? Do you mean? Uh, I, I guess you mean I guess next technically. Um, so I guess I can't really talk about why I love I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm no. I'm, I'm saving I guess until we get to the main story. Um, but I'm just I'm just like trying to remember the order. Um, it was I guess Koromaru and then Aragaki, right? Yes. Okay. I fucking love Koromaru. Koromaru's the goat. Koromaru is infinitely better than Morgana. See, I'm not a Morgana hater. I'm, like, I'm not either. I'm really not either. But, like, when I was, like, replaying um, five earlier this year... Um, I didn't. I didn't do a fully complete playthrough, but like I, I got through like most of the main story. Um, and I, I, I had a, I had a like a really big problem, like is especially on the second time through with like Morgana's entire character development and um. I found a lot of parts, especially like the part where where he runs away during and and where where during around the time you're like meeting Haru, like that was just nothing but frustrating to me. Hate it. I, I definitely didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. But like, and, and, and I'm not like... and I'm not saying I hated it either, but it had serious problems, and I like Koromaru so much because like. I haven't fully, like, done, you know, his, um, what, what do you call it? The thing is, like, not social link, but, like, with Akihiko, he's, like, things where you can hang out with him and learn more about him. Um, I haven't done all of those, but I've done a couple of them, and, and they're very sweet and wholesome. Um, right. And I, I just, I, I think that, like, for for like the the mascot type character as you described it, I just I think he works like infinitely better than Morgana does because Morgana, it, like I'm not not hating on Morgana, but Morgana has some really frustrating character moments, and I don't think his character was well redeemed by the end of five. That's fair. I and the only thing about Koromaru is like there's like. Is there really any like development? And when I say that, I mean it like, yeah, there's like the owner thing. He just he just doesn't speak them, which is cool. And and, and see dog. and see that that's the thing I like. That's the thing I okay. like because I like the fact that Korumaru is a little bit of a personality, but doesn't really undergo development because I think that that is executed better than. What they try to do to develop Morgana, whereas I don't think it worked very well, and it just ended up coming off with a lot of frustrating character moments and feeling well, underdeveloped. 
you're gonna fucking either love or hate Teddy when you play P4 eventually. I tried. Well, I, I played like one hour of Golden. Um, based on that, I already fucking hated Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a Teddy. I'm a Teddy is all right kind of guy. I don't love him. Don't hate him. Just kind of. Um, but I actually don't know if you know this, but um, people, even Atlas, people consider Igus to be the mascot. Huh? Like Igus no. is like, yeah, that is ludicrous. I'm sorry. Uh, whatever fuckers are saying that, I don't agree. Majority of people, like literally, probably eighty percent of the community, because it's like, really, yeah, because it's like, what the fuck? That that is that is absolutely nonsensical. I get it. I, it makes sense to me, but uh wow. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> That's gonna make my brain hurt if I think about that any longer. Um, so, uh, but yeah, the point is, I love Koromaru. <laughs> yeah, Koromaru's um, cool. I, I think Koromaru's great. I think he's kind of busted when, I didn't even talk about, like, the combat abilities of, like, of, like, the, the core members. Koromaru's definitely one of the most busted ones. Uh, def definitely you... one I always had in my party, for sure. Um... Uh, I, actually, you know what? That's something I want to ask you about. What's like your most frequent party lineup? What does that look like? Uh, obviously the, the main character. What um, the? Yukari at all times. Okay. I guess, and then I switch out whoever that fourth is, depending on like the ball, like the floor I'm fighting. But Koromaru was busted. Junpei, I didn't use my first playthrough but the second playthrough i found out in this game he is literally like if you build if you do it right he's a crit like demon he will crit oh my like, god dude for that reason like so so the one that i run with uh at least the one that i cleared like the last fucking hundred floors of tartars with was uh kormaru Gunpei, and mitsuru um, I used to have, uh, Yukari on the team, but the problem is he's just too weak. Like, yeah, she's a healer. I, like, that's, that was, yeah. Um, I, like, you know, and there's other people that have healing abilities, to be honest. Like, you know, like, like, you're, you're the main character, Sturgy, literally, like, here, like, heals 50% of HP of all the party members, so... Um uh so I, I I stopped using Yukari like as the game went on because it was just like she did not have enough HP and she was just constantly getting one shot by attacks before she could be really useful. And I ended up making like my own personas that dealt like decent amounts of wind damage to compensate. Um right. you pay absolute must because um like you said. Like, uh, at first I didn't really use him that much because, you know, he didn't really have much beyond, like, weak attacks with, like, the fire and shit. But, like, it's, 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 it's not, like, sudden at all. It feels like he just, like, goes from being one of the weakest to one of the most busted. It's, it's weird. And it's probably a little poorly balanced that way, but I don't care because, like, the, the amount of just insane... Physical abilities he can use is just it's it's amazing. Um, um and uh the last one I I, I have Mitsuru as the last one because not only is like ice kind of a weaker area in general, I think, even if you like making personas, you're not gonna get that many with good ice damage. But right. um her Second, third, is so busted. Her what? Her second, the second thirdy that she unlocked. Right. Oh, what's your favorite? Yeah, I was gonna say, what's your favorite thirdy? 
favorite Sergi. Oh, oh cool. well, I gotta I mention mind. Mind. Uh, Mitsuru's second one is definitely one of my favorites because it's so broken. Is like that the it's, one where she does like the where she sits on the ice and then goes like that and then no 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 explodes? that's her first one the second one that she unlocks is the one where she deals massive almighty damage and lowers all the stats of the opponent yeah it's so broken um but my absolute favorite is de is definitely gotta be um. Poor Maru's second one, where he like howls and and like and like doubles the damage of the next physical attack. My favorite is Junpei's after Chidori. That that one that one's another one I really like because it's just a better version of his first one. Um, the reason why Poor Maru's is my favorite is because it's it's so good for comboing. Yeah, like. Like I'll tell you, um, I'm pretty sure it's it's like the boss uh, under with all like the electro stuff. I'm pretty sure that was the one. Yeah. Where when I was fighting that boss, I had Koromaru, Aragaki, and the third one I don't remember because Aragaki was basically where you could play as him. Um, yeah. So what I did is like. I had I had both thirgies open. I, it was like the last move of the boss, um, but I didn't know if like poor Maru's dark version, dark thirgy, would be enough damage. So what I did is I activated Kor Maru's second one, and then I did like Aragaki's highest damage attack, and that defeated the boss. Yeah, and, and that's like the best combo that I've done across the entire game. Um. Uh, so, uh, I think that one is definitely my favorite 30, for sure. Okay. Um, and, and I love, and I love 30 as a mechanic as well. I, th yeah, I think, I um, think it's, I think it's introduced very timely. I think it's great. <laughs> this, this game is, you know, you want to the biggest complaint with Reload? Like in general, you know, like, like everybody is like, like this game is great. This is the one problem I have with it. Do you want to know the, the problem they have with this game? What is it? It's too easy. It is way too easy. It even, even like, I'll say this like, even playing on peaceful difficulty, I can tell it's way easier than five. <laughs> right. For like, kind of like the, the bosses. Like uh, this, this might be because I am playing on peaceful. But the bosses, compared to five, they're chill. <laughs> no, because I played. Okay, so when I, I on my PS4, I've beaten Merciless Persona Five. I've beaten. I've done everything in Persona Five that I fucking can. And when I when I bought it to Xbox and I bought the copy, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm 100 percent the game. Don't care. Played it in peaceful. For like my, my fifth playthrough in the game. Even even like like Okumura is still a bitch. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Um, but like, yeah, e even even playing on peaceful difficulty, like Tart Murderous was a breeze. Like, and also oh, almost like easy. every single boss was not challenging at all. Right, I get that. In fact, like some of the gatekeeper floors were more challenging, were more like annoying than the main story bosses. Oh, here, give me one second. Getting a phone call. All right, I'll, I'll pause. Give me one second. Okay, we're back. Seth had to take a call for someone. All right. Um, I only have, I think, like. 20, 25 minutes up before I have to go pick up my uh, sister from work from her work. So um I I wanna I wanna just jump into the main story. Okay. How do you feel about the story? I think the story is much better than fives. Amen. Yes, like, yes, it's your story wise, like obviously, as I said earlier, I think like the style wise, 
in the themes, I think five is better. But pure, like, story content, like, character development, like, content of the writing, three is much better. Um, I like the I like the theme more for sure for three over five though I will say that I I I I, I find myself preferring uh five because I think it like is able to tackle a lot more themes and I think that just like I think I just like that better but um sorry to hear the noise I'm looking at my texture my, te- my Tetris thing or talking um, so good. Um, so, yeah, I, um, and I remember, I don't know if you remember this from, like, one of our earlier episodes, but, but like, as I, as, as I, like, only put in, like, a couple hours into it, I was like, when does something happen in the story, right? Do you remember me talking about that? Yeah. Um, I, I was an impatient bitch. I did not have to wait long before, like, the first mandated encounter with the Twelve Shadows happens. Um, yes. I, I think I think that literally happened after like I, I know, another like hour or two of playing the game, and I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm fucking impatient, like a little child." Um, um, so overall, like, and, and this is not this is not like a dig against um three or like like I said earlier, um, the, the story structure is a lot simpler than I was expecting. Um, because, um, uh, you know, there's just, like, there's a lot less to it when talking about, like, the concept of the Dark Hour compared to, like, palaces and shit, right? Right. Um, but, and, and, you know, the stuff leading up to the boss fights... Um, the first couple it was kind of like what it was kind of like just fun, nothing yeah. like crazy. Um, the, the I think I think where for me the story really started to get really good is when you uh go to Yakushima, uh, like yeah. like the the beach vacation where you meet. I guess um, uh, I I think I think the revelation that. Tartarus is the old high school that they experimented on that went wrong. Brilliant. Yeah. Like, connects together so well. Connects, to get, connects, like, every part of the game up to that point perfectly. And I think this is definitely one of the best things about the story is the fact that everything is incredibly well connected. Um, yeah. Um, this table. Um, so I I think that was really good. Um, now now because this is where we're introduced to Igus's character, I'm I'm kind of like kind of like drip feed bits in it as like you know the story goes on because that's where you learn more about Igus. Um, so um, uh. And then, and then, of course, uh, I, th- I think it's like the next major thing that really happens story wise is the introduction of Strega. Um, yep. And I'm going to say this right now: the villains are much better in this game compared to Five. I don't know, man. Like, it's hard for me because I think Maruki is his, his character is written. Amazing. Yeah, but also, but also remember that um, he was a DLC villain. Yeah. So, so like, even though Voyle included like what was originally the DLC into the main game, I don't count him because like he wasn't originally part of the main story. I, I can't not count him because his character, like he, yeah, fair enough. But like, I'm talking about overall. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like cherry picking like specific villains. But I think overall, three I think much better about Persona Four as my favorite villain for sure because 
the best part about it is it's a murder mystery. Yeah, murder yeah, you've told me that before. Um, but like overall, like cast of villains wise, like in terms of like considering the strength of all of them put together, I think it's much better than Persona Five. I like Takaya and I like Chidori. I don't like Jin. Um, Jin's kind of whatever, but Takaya is an absolutely amazing villain. He's pretty cool. Just, um, the yeah, idea really for his head. character is really unique. I think that he is, I think that he hits that perfect level of absolute hatal bastard without going over to where it becomes annoying. Um okay. I I think he I think he strikes like the perfect balance in that regard. Um and um uh so I, I think he's I think he's great. Um and my personal favorite like section of the story so far is absolutely with our Ar- Aragaki's death. Uh and I didn't really yeah. talk about his character much because I was saving it for this uh part you we were talking about when we we're gonna talk about this part. Um I I fully completed like all the hangouts you could do with him. Um, I thought it was really interesting to learn more about him. I think he has got a very, very deep character. And my prediction with him was wrong, which was which I very much enjoyed. Uh, he was not as predictable as I it was expecting, which I really, really liked. Um, and his death, like, oh my god, that's the, that's the first moment where I was like, this is shitty gaming. Um, and yeah. I remember I remember I texted you about it. That was like back on when last Wednesday. Uh, Something like so, that. Yeah. Um, and I was just absolutely floored. And uh, and and then, and then before that, the revelations about Amada, amazing, amazing. Like I said, right. that's the best part of Amada's character. Um, and um. And everything to do with that entire fucking scene, absolute brilliance. Um, amazing. It is amazing. Uh, now, not much really happens story wise beyond defeating bosses until you get to um the Ikutsuki reveal. Yeah. Um. Now, th- there, there was like, there was a small part of me in the back of my head. I was not spoiled at all, by the way. There was just a small part of my brain that thinks like, this guy's kind of weird, or what he was. What if he's like the final villain or some shit? And that right. was actually right. Um. Well, you're aware he's not the final villain, right? He's not. I mean, I mean yeah, villain. yeah, yeah. But like. Um, but he sees like the final twist of villain. Um, now I know I texted you and said that it was like fucking brilliant and whatnot. Mm, I um, I think it's good. Don't get me wrong, but I I thought about it a lot the past couple days, and. Honestly, when it comes to twist villains, I've seen a lot better. Like as a twist, as a, as a twist villain, I don't think Akutsuki is very good. Um, I think I think what's really good about that moment is the is the pure shock value. I think the entire like presentation of the scene, the atmosphere it creates, the shock value that it gives you, I think that is definitely the best part of that entire scene. Um, now, obviously, that's the, that's a really big part for guidance, right? Um, right. Here's my problem that I have with Ibis's character. Okay. It's the fact that 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 right there is, like, the first kind of development that we see since she's introduced. Right. So, I think it's another 
not 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 quite the same, but I think it's a similar problem to a mana where it waits too long to give one big thing, and I think there should have been more build up. You'll see. You'll see more. They um and 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 everything that has come after that has made me like Igus's character a lot more. I will tell you that. Um, like everything after Akutsuki happens, like you know, the, oh my god, this is this is where we're getting to like actual the peakest like everything can, being connected together is like fucking brilliant. Like the fact that you learn that. Um, not only Pharos was the same as Ryuji, which blew my fucking mind, dude. Yeah. I, I, I can't even explain my reaction. Like, my dad was sitting, eating, and watching me play when that happened, and I was like, I just had my mind blown. That was, like, the only words I could say. Right. Um, uh, that 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 that's the entire reason why I felt very mixed about Pharaohs as a as like a social link is because that twist was incredible. But right. then again, like <laughs> it wasn't that wasn't that much of a, a social link. So that's why I felt mixed about that. But that twist was absolutely brilliant. Um and um and uh and then like that revelation that like Ryoji is death and and you know all yeah. this shit and the fact that like he fought I guess ten years ago and like that's the reason that the main character has their persona powers and 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 like the fact that death was growing in him, and 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 that's the reason why you could only hold twelve personas. Yep, absolutely, just brilliant. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's, I can't it's, wait to see the end. It's I'm it's so brilliant. Um, uh, I have not done the ending yet. By the way, uh, like I said, yeah, I'm still I'm a couple days away. I'm still I'm still a couple days away from the promised day and and shit. Um. So, well, as you know, my first experience with P3 was FES. And I got to say, so FES it has the answer added on to it, right, on the PS2. And the yeah. DLC I'm playing right now is the answer DLC. They decided to just add it as DLC and not as a, a whole new game. So what I will say about Igus is I can't really speak upon, like, why I think she's great. I, I don't remember if this is right or not, but for me, I I like the pieces where you can slowly she's a she's obviously a robot. I like the pieces where she, you can see she's understanding like human life. And that and like that what what I just said in like that's like the most bare bones form reason I can tell you I love I guess by the end. Because you'll see. You'll see. That's what I'm enjoying about her confidant, like her social, social links so far. That's what I'm enjoying about that. Um, um, uh, right. Okay. So everything about that is absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, to be honest, I think, like, even if you hadn't told me the subtle, like, hint about like what the right ending was i think i could have figured it out to be honest right i think it is a lot more obvious in this game compared to five like a that's lot another lot. reason honestly bro that's another reason i really like this game is because like five don't get me wrong i love persona five and i like i like the ending but the way you get it compared to three is just so much more like difficult it's just like oh i have to do that to hang out with this person i have to hang out with this person i have to hang out with this person i have to do this you know what i can you know despite the fact that like me getting multiple endings of Persona five in the same playthrough is like one of the most memorable gaming experiences i've ever had 
it doesn't change the fact that it, like, in retrospect, it's a little frustrating, the fact that I did everything right, except for fuck up one choice at the end. So, yep. obviously, it's, it is exponentially more simpler, and, and, it's, and I feel like it's way more obvious to tell, but I, I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, right. So... Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not, like, upset by the fact that it was, like, a lot more obvious to spot. Um, um, how do you feel about the music? Is it, well, is that all the main story beats? Am I, like, that forgetting you? something? Because I, because I, uh, I made the choice to spare Ryoji, which I know is the right choice, because you told me um, have you, have you done the ending where you kill him? Yeah. Is it good? Nah. It isn't? N not compared to... Because I think in 5, I think in 5, it, like, even, even the ending is still really good. I'm just wondering if it was the same. I mean, are you going to do it? I mean, I, I, well, I already made the choice to spare him, so. You literally, do you want me to tell you what the bad ending is then? I mean, yeah, because I don't know if there's a situation where I would replay this game on, like, five. All right, that, like, literally, you let, you kill, you kill him, and you literally, like, your life goes on like normal, you go to, a karaoke thing with your friends, and then the game ends. Just like Cause that, because everyone, everyone that's the wrong ending. Because everyone, you know, you know. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that is that is unsatisfying sounding. Um. Anyway, I don't like. I don't like. I didn't like Five's other ending either, like the bad one, because you literally just see, like, fucking... see, see that one. That one I just thought was brilliantly executed because it was like such a shock value thing, and I thought it was such a amazing end to Akechi's character. Um, and I, maybe I think it's good because of like the whole thing that I've talked about so many times about like getting both endings in one, but um. Uh, so, yeah, uh, regarding music, I think music is really good, but not as good as Fives. I think it's, I think there's some in Five that are better, but, yeah, I like Threes more, especially the opening. I like that, I think the opening is, like, right, for, for me, for me, I think, I think, I think the thing that gives Five the edge is I just like uh, the battle music better. But, I like I said, I music, uh, music, music and Reload, it's really good. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not like dissing music or anything like that. Yeah, no, that, that's fair. I, I like, I like disturbing the peace miles more than Last Surprise. That's just me. I still love Last Surprise, but I love the vocals. I like the, I just like the song. I don't know. I mean, you, um, you know, I, I, I get that. Um, As someone who's also played the original free, dude, the opening cutscene, when I first saw that, oh my god, I was like, I was like in shock because of how good it was. Because I've, again, I've played the original. So, you know, when you see like the subtle hints to story things and you're like, oh my god, oh my god, this game. Because you like, if I, okay, like, uh, try to think of one. You know, the scene in the opening where it's, it's the subway and it like flips between Akigiko, uh, Aragaki, and Ken? I don't think I've I've I fully watched the opening through. Oh what? Yeah, that. There's like a scene. There's that scene, and it's like, oh my god, all those characters like, like, and then uh. So Junpei's character, right? In the beginning, he's like a happy kind of go lucky kind of guy. You know, what I mean, he's kind of immature, and then you know, the other Chidori, Chidori stuff happens, and he's still like immature, but like he's grown. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. There's like a split frame second where it re uh, Junpei is like super chill and then it just like flips around and like his whole world is shattered and he's like, oh, fuck. 
I'm like, oh, oh my God, that's like referencing that. I'm like, okay, I love this opening so much. And then, uh, yeah. And then the, when they play, when they play the original, when, it, when the, oh my God, when Makoto in the beginning of the opening, he walks up, he sits on the thing, and he plays the original opening on the 2007 MP3 player. And then it fucking switches. Bro, I can't get enough. So I, I'll, I'll end with this. Um, I think like after almost completing reload and doing like a re replay of five, I can firmly say I think Persona is my favorite video game series of all time. This guy. And and I still I still have four to play. <laughs> four? I don't know if you're gonna like four. I think you'll like four, but I don't know if you'll like four if you play Golden after playing the remakes, because it's kind of dated, you know what I mean? I'm not going to do that. You're not going to play Golden? No, I'm also not going to play, like, Persona 3 Portable. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, Persona 3 Portable is the one I would say is kind of worth looking into, because of the FEMC route, because it is it's it is kind of different, you know what I mean? Yeah. The story um, is, plays out, because you uh, can't... I, I hate to uh, cut you off, but... um. Are you going to be available, like, later tonight if, if I, like, well... Probably not. I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, yeah, never mind. I, ha I, I, I remember I have, like, I have to study for a quiz tomorrow. I haven't studied for it all. Um, before you go, before you go, though, I do want to show something. I, uh, okay. So I've been here for three months. Right. I've been, I've been living here for three months. I did not carry a single piece of Persona merch with me. Okay. This is the stack I have just from being here. This is the addiction's bad. I have steel books for five. I have two of them, PS5 and Royal. Yes. On the Switch, so I have. I literally, Dude, have every, no. I literally, I have no. every single copy of Persona Five. Oh, I got. Man. I found two copies of Tactica. One on the Switch. Oh one on the God. Xbox. Bro. <laughs> um, and then I got gold. I got the, this. Actually, I did get in Georgia, but not really. I got it shipped, and then I picked it up, and then I took well, it here. But so basically, like, kind of real life rundown before we end this off. Um, yeah. Last week, I had like my first week of tests, basically, like unit one tests okay. and, and shit. Um, yeah, I got A's on my Japanese test and the multiple choice portion of my world history test. Uh, the short answer nice. part hasn't been graded yet. Um, the quiz I need to study for is actually a Japanese vocab quiz that's tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. and science hasn't been graded yet. Uh, and philosophy hasn't been graded yet either. But I think I did well on all of them. Um, it's, science is annoying because, like, we have these fucking discussion posts along with, um, uh, yeah, along with, you know, the, the, the other assignments. And I, I, I don't, I didn't pay attention to, to what the due dates were for those. I get like an email yesterday that like it was due last night and I totally forgot to do it. I'm going to try and do it th tonight because like they're like the due date for the peer responses are different. But I'm hoping it like I can do it tonight and it won't get like points off. Uh, but. I guess we'll see. Did I ever show you this? Yeah, you did. I did? Yeah. I, I can't wait to play Xenoblade. <laughs> Fuck, we don't have time. Um, I forgot to show you this. Damn. I was going to show you my backlog. My games. We, this, this episode just should be called Persona 3. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like, I, I seriously, I, I got to get going now. I'll see ya. Yeah, uh, definitely. I, I hate to, I hate to like rush things at the end. Uh, one more no, thing I'll good. mention. Uh, one thing I'll mention. I did yesterday. My mom is on the is on uh, the pride board. Uh, for I'm I'm not gonna say like where we live, where I live, just because of like confidentiality. But my mom's on the pride board. She's very much into that. They had like a big fundraiser thing yesterday at a brewery. I went there. Obviously, didn't drink alcohol, but like. I had a, had a lot of fun there. Um, awesome. So, yeah. 
All right, uh, that's gonna do it. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching and whatever the fuck. If you don't give, you know, if you don't give a fuck about Persona Three Real, you probably should just skip this episode, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> you probably should have said that at the beginning of the fucking. Ah, uh, who who cares? Who cares? Um. Real. Anyway, um, that is gonna do it uh, for us. Uh, great first episode with the cameras. Uh. Uh, going forth, hopefully this is how all the episodes are going to be. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, all from us. Later. Later.